Did I really not turn the mic on? Seriously? I didn't turn the mic on? Really? Ah. I'll just wait for you to catch up with the sound. You know. Great. Having one of those days. The sound of silence. Well, let me know when you hear me, because you should be hearing me now. Um, myht.higherthings.org is the place for the, the stream. We stream to you, uh, to uh, FaceTime, uh, Facebook as well. But um, uh, this is picked up from myht.higherthings.org. So pick that up, myht.higherthings.org, and hit the Bible study link and join us. Tomorrow, we're going to have uh, what we like to call Fireside Chat Thursday. Fireside Thursday. So, 11.30 also. We're going to sit down and we're going to um, have a conversation. We'll answer questions. We'll, we'll talk about um, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, this is only available on myht.higherthinks.org. And so, you really, really want to um, log in there. So, uh, tomorrow, no Facebook, FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime. No Facebook, but just a discussion. Um, we'll have a discussion, fireside chat. And we'll talk about the text. We'll talk about what's going on. And we'll talk about the light. I'll answer your questions, but it will only be available at myht.higherthings.org. So go to higherthings.org, hit that MyHT button, and uh, join us for Bible study. And Thursday, it'll be um, fireside chat day. Okay. I'll take it the sound is working. All right. Let's get to work, shall we? All right. Um, we stopped with these things I command you. I commanded you that you love one another. And this is important for us. This is very, very important for us, especially where we are right now in which we are um, so tugged on by all sorts of different things to either be mad at what happened yesterday, to be frightened or have some schadenfreude, which is that um, sinful desire to revel in someone's defeat. Um, we need to sort of understand that we're in this together in this life. Um, the video short for today is is woke righteousness. Um, um, hopefully, somebody will link it in the in the the main channel. But I, I just want you to sort of um, I want you to sort of just take it in a little bit that we're given to love one another, and love doesn't flow from us. We are not the originators of love. Um, we're not the originators of love. We don't make love happen. Um, Christ makes love happen. Um, he makes, he makes love happen by his holy life and bitter sufferings and death. And so it's really, really, really important to understand how this, this goes down. It doesn't begin with you. Love doesn't start with you. Love starts with Jesus for you, in your place, and the like. So love begins and ends with Jesus, okay? And that love isn't a love that is only church love. That love goes and, and gifts everybody around us. It gifts everybody around us. So it begins with Jesus and flows out to our neighbor. We live in Christ by faith and in our neighbor by love. Love happens at the neighbor point. That's where love happens. Sometimes love hurts. Sorry. Um, but, uh, uh, and who wrote the book of love? There's uh, Pastor Lestico on Facebook making that comment. You know, I just... It's so very important to remember this today. So very important. Um, I went off on the, 
I lost my cool for a second, which very rarely happens. Um, I lost my cool for a second concerning the, um, the stuff yesterday. And, um, I just, just blurted out about two minute rant on, on the, uh, on, on my poor, um, uh, administrative assistant, but, uh, uh, lack of sleep. But if I have to love people, if you have to love people based on how your life's going, it's not going to work. Um, we love because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. All right. Now, these next verses are also important to you. If the world hates you, if the cosmos hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. So this, this, this 2020 thing can make us feel like we are wearing aluminum foil hats. Um, like, like we're just like off the rails. Like I, like, like off the rails. Like we, we sound like, we sound like crazy people waiting for the next shoe to drop, waiting for them to come and get us and close us down and all that jazz. And when, when, whenever we talk about this subject, if the world hates you, know that they hated me before they hated you. Jesus sounds that way too. It's like, they're coming to take you away. Ha ha, he he, ho ho. Um, but he's real. You see, just like paranoid, you're not paranoid if they're actually after you. The same as you're, Jesus doesn't have to wear a aluminum foil hat because they're actually, they're actually after him. And since they're after him, they're after you too. To end you like they want to end Lazarus. Like they want to end Lazarus. And what did, what did Lazarus do? He was raised from the dead. What did you do? You were raised from the dead too in the waters of your baptism. So the idea that somehow the world's going to love us, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. The world hates you. Just look at how they talk. Open-minded about everybody, but you. Loving everybody, allowing all things to go on, except you. You can gather together and do all sorts of bad things, but you can't go to church. And if you think that you need an aluminum foil hat, don't fret. They hated him first. The idea that somehow you're going to merge the world and Christianity Pipe dream. The world will give you a golf clap. So glad you came around. But the end of loving the, uh, the, the praise and glory of men more than the praise and glory of God. Ends in death. Ends in death. There's no hope other than the suffering and death of Christ. No life other than Christ. And those of you who, who woke up this morning, you're like, how on earth did they find 400,000 votes in two states? Or you woke up and were like, thank God they found 400,000 votes in two states. Know this, the Lord is the Lord of the church. Your comfort is not found in whether or not things are going well with you in this world. They're not going to go well. Things are not going to end well for this world. Governments fall. 
leaders fail. Trust not in princes. But the hope we have, the salvation that we have, is in Christ alone. He alone saves. I got a little mark on my, uh, no, it's just dust. Just a little Thor, just a little Thor. Come back, Thor. Come, come, buddy. If the world hates you, know they hated me first. Come on, boy. If the world, oh, you got in your bed. Okay, can't argue with a good boy. Good boy. He knew they get in his bed. Sorry, I thought he was coming around in order to, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. No, he was, um, I thought for certain he was going to want to jump in my lap, but he, um, he's up to scratch his back. Yes, 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 Pastor Lestico. Matthew 5, 10 and 12. Blessed are you when men revile you and they speak all sorts of evil against you for such is the way they, they talked about the prophets who were before you. Yes, Thor is wearing his security jacket. Uh, he's wearing his security shirt. Let me turn this off. I think it's Trump asking me for money. Um, if you were of the world, if you were of the world, let's make that bigger so it's easier for me to read with my tired eyes. If you were of the world, The world would love you as its own. But because you are not out of the cosmos, not out of the world, but I chose you, I elected you out of the cosmos. Because of this, the world hates you. Again, you did not choose me, I chose you. It's re it's. You did not elect me. I elected you, says Jesus. I selected you. I chose you. This is the word holy. Zadik. Um, this is the word holy. We think that holy means that something is religiously perfect. Okay, that's pretty much our definition of... Um, that's pretty much our definition of holy. Somebody who's religiously perfect. But in actuality, holy means to set apart. God sets you apart. He picks, um, he picks you off the, dump, the, 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 the dumpster fire of this world and he sets you aside and he says, mine, mine, you are mine. Mine. Not because you have changed, not because you've gotten better, not because you're better stuff than someone else. It's like you look at yourself and you're like, well, at least I'm not Tim Rake. Um, hi, Pastor Rake. But because of his great mercy, God the Father sent his son to die for you. And he has plucked you out of this world of sin and death and called you his own in the waters of holy baptism. By grace you have been saved. And this is not of yourselves, it is a gift from God, not by a work, so that no one can boast. So, if you were of the world, the world would love you. And that's something to take note of when the world loves you. When the world says, love me, love me, say that you love me, and they're singing it to you, you're on the wrong team. Holy looks like a guy covered with sin, dying under the wrath of God on a cross. That is Pastor Tim Rank. Jesus is holy. You are holy. Holy God, holy people. So I chose you out of the world. You can't be in the world because I chose you out of the world. 
not that you made a decision, 12-step program, to be a better person. Be a better person. The world could use. And the world would be a better place for you and me. Yeah, if you were a better person. But that's not going to save you. What God really wants is to pluck you out of the dumpster fire of this world in his son and save you so that he might save others through you. It's not only about you, you see. Put a little love in your life, in your heart. Remember the word that I said to you. And he said this a chapter ago. A servant is not greater than his master. If the world pursues me, persecutes me. That's an interesting pro. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, that's not cool. I got to fix that on the new version. That's a mistranslation. That does not mean people. That means persecute. If the world persecutes me, they will persecute you. If you keep, if you hold dear my words, they will They will hold dear you. Interesting. That word of forgiveness will keep you in the faith. If you hold dear my words. That word of forgiveness will carry you through even your little death. I have to fix that later. It's annoying me. Even your little death to a life of salvation in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. <sighs> what a great comfort. You don't have to keep yourself in the faith. You don't have to keep yourself faithful. In his words, you will be kept in the faith. You will be guarded. Guard his words. They will guard you. How many people worry about staying in the faith? Lord, please keep me from falling away. The answer to that is not to work out and train your Christianity. Pump in some Jesus. No. No. The answer is more of the Lord's words and promises, for only his words and promises are able to save. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So if you keep my words, they'll keep you. They'll keep yours. Twenty-one. But all of these things they will do to you on account of my name or because of my name. Because they do not know the one who sent me. And this is the key to understanding this. To understand, to know the one who sent Jesus is to know Jesus. To persecute Jesus is to deny the one who sent him. And so all that talk about how you love God but not Jesus, not a good idea. That ends in death. It ends in death. If I had not come and spoken to them, 
they would be they would not be guilty of sin. Interesting. But now they have no excuse for their sin. If they keep my words, they will keep yours, since they refers to the world. Does this mean, does this not mean something like, if they took down and watched my words to trap me, they will do the same to your words? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. That's... um. Uh, everything that they've done to Jesus, including crucifying him, they're going to do to you. Are you surprised? Did you think that, did you put your trust in princes? Did you believe that, that your country would be saved by who was elected? If they hate Jesus, they hate you. If they crucify Jesus, they will crucify you. If they try to trap Jesus in in his words, they will try to trap you in their word, in your words. All of it. The whole lot of it. But in his words you will be kept. In his words you will remain steadfast in the faith. Thanks for the general correction there, buddy. Um I must be more tired than I thought. I almost had my uh, had to wear my uh, um, glasses for today. My eyes are so tired. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have been guilty of sin. This is an interesting sentence. But because he has spoken to them, the world, the Jews, those who hate him, they are guilty of sin. They have no excuse. And here's the clincher. The one hating me hates my father. They hate Jesus. So they hate his dad. There is no universe that exists... Uh, Pastor Rake is still rejoicing in the irony of of um, we keep his word one way and the world keeps it another. If the world kept my words, then the world would listen to you. But the world does not keep my words, therefore the world does not listen to you. You keep my words, and my words will keep you in the faith. You will be persecuted because they hate me. Because they hate me, they'll hate you. If I had not spoken to them, they wouldn't be guilty. But I have spoken to them, and therefore they're guilty. They're without excuse. For whoever hates me hates my dad too. If I had not done among them the works that I that no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. So now, not only do we hate Jesus, we hate God the Father. Because we reject Jesus the Son of God, who loved you and gave up his life for you. But the word that is written in their law, again, their law, their law. Great law came through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus. Here he is drawing a distinction between the world and with the world comes also, with the world comes also
the false church, the Pharisees, Sadducees, leaders of the high priests, teachers of the law, their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. They hated me without a cause. And we're going to stop here today. I know we're going to finish the chapter. But when the helper comes, when the Pericletus comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, so the Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son, Jesus does love that tereo verb, Nathan. Great, great point. Um, and it doesn't mean to obey. It means to hold dear or to keep. But when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. So why do you testify concerning Jesus? Why do you, why do you proclaim his name? Why do you rejoice in his gift? Because the Spirit gives those words to you. He creates faith where and when he pleases in those who hear the gospel. And you will bear witness. You will martyr this. Because you've been with me from the beginning. So take heart. The world hates you, but they hate me. Take heart. The world despises you, but they despise me. And if they hate me, they hate my father also. They catch me. If they listen to my words, then they would listen to your words. But they don't because they hate me. And so they hate you. Now, two things I want to uh, point out to you. Um, I want you to go today. Um, today, we're making available youth Bible studies. So, um, Bible studies for youth available for free from the from the higher things website now you could take these Bible studies and you could use them for adults because as Luther says um, uh, he uh, um, uh, if for youth then for adults too but I want you to go and I want you to check them out. They're available. They're available today. Look at that. Higherthings.org slash Bible studies. We've got to work on our links. Higherthings.org slash Bible studies. Slash Bible studies. Check them out. Good stuff. A free sample. Good stuff. Tomorrow, Fireside, Thursday chat, we'll sit around in myht.higherthings.org and we're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Your tough questions, your, what, is there, why is there no reciprocity in the second gay news? We'll answer any question that you want. Tim Brake is not allowed to come because he'll ask me hard questions that I don't know. But we're going to, um, um, yeah, live Bible study Felicity is streamed from my HT to Facebook tomorrow. No Bible study. We'll just meet on my HT and we'll have fireside chat. Have a great day. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't despair of what's going on around you. 2020 is not going to do you in. Um, don't despair. Don't despair. The Lord is the Lord of the church. And, and, the, and the deal with him being the Lord is that he's, he's the one who saves you. And he already has. So all that you are doing in this life is working out that salvation with fear and trembling. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.